Hey folks, Green Stuff Gav here. This week I'm going to show you how I do a te basing technique where I use green stuff to sculpt wooden plank effects. Is I've done this for many different armies and um, it's quite a straightforward technique. So I'm doing this on a 40mm base just so you can see it a little bit better but this works for war machine style lipped bases, 40k bases, any sort of base really. So I've mixed up a great big blob of green stuff. Obviously how much you use will depend on the size of base you're doing. And what we're going to do, we're just going to spread this out across the base. Doesn't matter about fingerprints, doesn't matter about um, keeping it level. Because what we're going to do, we're going to take a glass of water. Get this soaking wet and then on our base we're just gonna squish it down to make it nice and uniform and by moving the base while we're pressing down we get nice coverage Still a little bit of texture there, but for this won't be a big issue. Now, what we're going to do first is we're simply going to mark out where our planks are going to be. So we want to keep this nice and uniform. Obviously, depending if you're doing, for example, an orc or um, a more rough base, you could go for different sized planks. Um, for things like ships or theatres or whatever, you probably want to keep them nice and consistent. So, once we've got these, we're just going to go from the other side and define those planks a bit better. Obviously, this will all this will change as we sculpt, but it gives us a good idea of where the planks are going to be. So a nice deep cut. Now theoretically you could just put in your your markers and this would become brickwork. But it's as easy as that. But for sculpting base uh, the wood effect, all we're gonna do is gonna take our sculpting tool keep it nice and wet and just drag it back and forth along the planks. We're not going as deep as the original plank detail but deep enough that by the time this sets and we get an undercoat on there the lines will still be visible. So if you're feeling really, really adventurous, you can put some patterns in, some sort of wood grain effect, but I tend to find that the texture of the green stuff as we're uh, pulling the sculpting tool will, won't be straight anyway. So, because obviously if, if all the lines were all just pure straight, it wouldn't look like a natural wood effect. And even your woods that aren't natural, your flat pack furniture or whatever, they still put wood grain effects and the wood grains are never consistent. So. Yeah, we're just gonna continue wherever the detail looks a little bit too thick, we're just gonna try and put a line in there. all our lines put in then we're going to go back and just repress down onto the, the planks because this tidies up the edges of the planks themselves you 
can probably see here it doesn't look massively defined so we're just gonna define it a touch so I imagine the um, easiest way of painting wood is just to dry brush it so by making sure these details are nice and defined means painting will be a bit easier and when we've done them we're just going to randomly put in cross points now again you could go for a consistent and make sure that every plank's the same size or you can do what I'm doing here and just play them by ear what looks good no pattern, no rhyme, no reason because again this will all add texture and to be fair is we, while a nice base is very important you don't want it to detract from the miniature you're putting on it you don't want people to be sat looking and say oh look at that base it's really cool and then completely forget about the awesome model you put on top of it there one wooden base now what we're going to do we're going to take a knife just gonna cut away the edges by doing it this way because obviously when we're pushing the green stuff it'll all splurge out over the side anyway and by cutting nice while the green stuff's wet it gives us a real defined edge that makes it look like one piece instead of something that's just glued on t uh, stuck on top Just carefully cutting. Keep the knife nice, nice and wet. The trick with green stuff, because everyone says, "Oh, it sticks," is just keep keep your um, whatever equipment you're using really wet. It doesn't stick to the wet, but if the green stuff gets too wet, like these parts now, they don't stick together. So, if you're sculpting miniatures or parts or thing that sort of thing you want to keep things damp but if you're doing adjustments like this you want to keep keep your tools keep your tool wet and then I'm just gonna tidy up these edges just to straighten them out a touch obviously where the knife's cut along it's moved the detail a touch Nice and straight. Easy as that. Leave that to dry and job done is obviously I tend to do a batch all at once so I tend to do four or five but I'll do each base individually so I'll do one base move on to the next one same techniques because then you can take the green stuff you've cut off and mix it into the next batch for the next base but hope that's been helpful for you thanks for watching and have fun